hi everyone, Miss Sue here. I stopped by the Dollar Tree recently to pick up some items for my classroom. I'll be teaching pre-K four and five year olds this year. So let's see what I found. Okay, first thing I wanna show you are these stickers I found. They are jumbo reward stickers. There are 50 stickers in here. And I've seen these kind of stickers at the dollar store before. However, these are a little bit bigger and they're about an inch in diameter. You can see the different um, sayings on the back here and the different pictures that are included. So I thought these were pretty cool. I also picked up these pens. So we have some Enerjel X pens. I got the pink, the purple that I already opened, and the blue. And then I also bought these R2 Precision roller ball pens, two in a pack. I just love purple, so that's why that one is opened already, and I just want to show you how nicely these write. So smooth. I just could not resist getting these. I have some pens at school already, of course, but it's nice to have a few new pens every year. And I also found this 10 pack of pen and pencil grips. They're very soft feeling and kind of squishy here. So I will probably use at least one of these for myself and thought this would be nice for my students to have on their pencils to help them with their grip for the ones that are still working on holding the pencil the correct way. Here are some more stickers I found. These were over in the craft section. These are some foam letter stickers. Let's see how many were in here. 124 pieces. And we got a few different colors. So we always use these somehow throughout the year at school. So those are fun. Also got these emoji stickers, 112 piece for a dollar. Dollar Tree has just so many fun stickers. And wait, there's more. I also got some heart stickers. 396 pieces in here. Bright foil colors. And one more sticker pack Lisa Frank stickers 600 for a dollar just can't beat that can you and these are so cute we got hearts and animals and food what else we got in here some smiley faces just so much fun we use a lot of stickers in my classroom so and this page is nice these are kind of bigger in size and then we got some tiny ones back here that'll be good fine motor work practice so there are some more stickers I found now I also found these little games it's a memory flash game it's kind of like Simon so I thought these would be fun for my students to try out and good cognitive skill to work on here so you let's see so I'll just show you a little bit how it works here you have to copy the pattern so this will also be good for remembering patterns okay let's see what happens oh. That's what happens when you get it wrong, and then it starts a new pattern. That should be fun. These I actually picked up because I thought they looked like they would be a fun fidget toy. This is actually a contact uh, lens case and uh, facial scrubbers, but um, it's just got a really cool uh, texture to it. And you know, for those sensory seeking kiddos, they could just hold it and fidget with it and squeeze it. And, and this one, 
I figure they can open and close the case. So that should be interesting to see if they enjoy this as a sensory fidget option. I also found these ice cube trays, which I thought were really cool. I would like to use these for math time with counting uh, um, objects. And uh, we got 21 little slots here. So I was thinking something that might fit nicely in here would be uh, mini erasers. They had them in two colors. So I took one of each color. Could do patterning in here, counting, sorting. I also picked up this list pad. For some reason, I'm just obsessed with list pads. And I love the saying on this one, focus on the good. With some polka dots. And of course it has the magnet on the back. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this at school or at home yet. Now these I pick up every year because we always use these word strips. So we got kind of a honeycomb pattern here and blue on the other side. I also got purple and green with some fun dots and then pink, kind of an animal print. And we got blue with an animal print. And we use these for name tags, um, if we need to label their chairs like we did last year due to something that we all know about. So yeah, and countless other ways. I'm sure I could make a video out of different ways to use this. So if you'd like to see that video, let me know. So these are word strips. I actually picked up these rainbow sprinkles in June, but I'm sure they still have them there. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with these yet. I was thinking some kind of tray, similar to like a sand tray, and you would trace the letter or the number. So the only thing I'm worried about is if kids would try to eat this. So another thought I had is maybe do it like with a plastic Ziploc bag or something where they can't actually touch the sprinkles but for a dollar I thought why not we'll figure out how to use them I also picked up some hair gel and this I'm going to use like for some sensory bags you can stick some of this in a Ziploc and I've seen people use different things like beads or pom-poms and they have to move it to the correct spot, depending on what they're working on. But again, for a dollar, we'll see what I decide to use these for. And I picked up this Trace and Write activity book, ages four to six. It's really something I'm, I'm thinking would be handy to use. You could just copy off and use it with everyone different writing skills in here, different lines, and we got circles, Let's see, I think there's, yeah, in the back we have the alphabet, Let's see, and numbers, so, and lower, we got lowercase, uppercase, shapes, oh, some mazes, so I thought that was really nice for a dollar. It's a Scholastic um, brand book. And the last thing I found, the Colors of the World coloring activity book. And there are also crayons that I could not find there, but I did find them at Walmart for a little bit more than a dollar, the 24 piece crayons. So just give you a little sneak peek of the pictures in here. Got some various fun pictures in here to color and a few different activities. Draw yourself as a cave explorer. We got back here. Draw your family having fun at the park. So yeah. 
Looking forward to using this in my classroom this year too, along with those crayons. Oh, I noticed it also has some of these Find the Differences pages. Back here we got girl in a wheelchair. So yeah, this is just a really nice coloring book to use and activities. Well, that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. Have you been over to the Dollar Tree lately? Well, let me know down in the comments what you have picked up there recently. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.